Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's code video is going to be very interesting. Uh, we are going to talk about Pareto principle and how we can implement it in SQL. Okay, so let's under understand what is Pareto principle. So Pareto principle states that for many outcomes, roughly 80% of the consequences come from 20% of the causes. So basically what it is saying that 80% of the things come from 20% of the things. For example, 80% of the productivity come from 20% of the employees, right? Another example is 80% of your sales will come from your 20% of the customers. Another example is 80% of the decision in a meeting are made in 20% of the time, right? So these are actual things you can see in real time that this happens because your top employees or top customer will buy 80% of your stuff, right? So today we are going to cover this. So we are going to cover this 80% of your sales come from 20% of your products. So we have a, a superstore data where we have sales from for three years and we have around 2000 products. So now we have to find out that, so it becomes important for the company to find out which which of your 20% products are top products, which, is, which are giving 80% of the sales, right? So they can focus more on those products. So I have this data. orders table okay so it has around uh, three years of data 2019-2021 okay and it has all the order details order date product id also we have and we have sales also right so what i'm going to do first so basically we have to find which are those 20 percent products which are giving 80 percent of the sales so this is what we are going to do today in the sql Okay, so for that, first I need to find the sales of each product, right? So what I will do, product ID, sum of sales, as product sales, by product underscore ID, right? So this is how I will get, I will also sort a product sales okay so this is my product sale for each product this much how much sales i have done over the three years of time right now i have to find those 20 percent product so if you see they are around 1862 product so i have to find 20 percent products which are doing 80 percent of the sales so first i should know how much is the 80 percent of the sales right so for that, what I will do, I will calculate the total sales and take 80% of that. Okay. Select sum of sales, right? 80% will be 0 0.8 on orders. So this is my 80% of the sales, right? I will just write it down here. 183760. We will implement that also in the final query. But let's try to understand what will be our approach. So what I will do, I will start adding the sales from the product which has highest sale. So I will add this sale, this sale, this sale, this sale. So this is in descending order. This is the maximum sale and then less than that and less than that like that right so we'll, i will start adding those and i will see where it is matching right where it is matching this number or close to this number so let's say if i add these 10 products and if it gives me this much amount then i will say these products give me 80 percent of the sales right so for that what i have to do i have to find the running total right so i have to from, from the product which has highest sales, I will start adding numbers, okay? So for that, I will use window function. So here I got product by sales. Now what I'm going to do is, on top of it, this is my, let's give it a alias with, okay, product, by sales so i am i have created a ct here common table expression and we will use it for select product by sales 
from product wise sales. Okay, I will just remove it for now just so that we have more space. Okay, we are solving this question. Okay, from product wise sales, sum of product sales. Okay, over. So this is how I will do running total order by order by product sales descending because I have to start from the product which has highest sales. Descending right rows between this I have discussed in another video how to use this. I will tag it here. Just see how it works. Rows between unbounded proceeding and zero proceeding. I will just tell you how it works as running sales okay apart from that I need product ID and product sales okay Syntax error. Okay, I need to just do this. Okay. So if you see, this is my product sale. Running sales for the first product is same. Running sale for the second product is sum of these two. For on the third running sale is sum of these three. So this is how I'm adding all the sales. And the moment I reach the 0.8% of my total sales, I will say those are the products which give me 80% of the sales and then we will see is it 20% products or more products or less right so now I need total sales also so total sales in this query how I can calculate is I will do sum of product sales over and I will not give anything so what it will do it will give me total sales and then I need to do 0 0.8 also to find 80% of the sales okay I'm going to run this if you see this total sales is this number only 1837760 right so now the moment this running sales reach total sales i will say that these products give me 80 percent of the sales right so i will just go down go down go down i'm manually checking but we can write a sequel also i will show you so here somewhere we reached 183 183 yeah so if you see around 413 413 413 products are giving me 80 percent of the sales because this is 80 percent of the sales and top 413 products giving me this much sales so what is 413 so total products are 1862 if you see here okay so if i do select 413 divided by 81862. Okay. So this is roughly uh, I need to do 2.0. Otherwise, it converts into integer. Okay, so it is around 22. So around 22 percent. So so around the, this 413 comes as 22 percent of the total products so it is close to 80 20 rule right so this is how 80 20 works so top 22 percent of the products are giving 80 percent of the sales right now if i have to find out which are, what are those products so i can simply do i will make this as another city comma see this let's say Select from sales where running sales less than equal to total sales. Invalid object calc sales calc sales calc sales. Okay, so it is giving me 413. 
right these are 413 rows so this is how i got my top products top 22 products which are giving me 80% of the sales right i hope this this was useful and it is not confusing uh, what i will suggest to you try this your uh, by your own you can there are multiple ways of doing it so try it and let me know that if if you understood it uh thank you for watching and like the video